following a corrugated run from Goog's track, the Grenadier Trails team arrive in Takula. Whilst the town no longer has any permanent residents, Takula is home to Barton Gold, owners of the local Perseverance mine site and the location for the next stage in Grenadier's testing program. Once the locals had been given a quick tour of their own, of course. In addition to the unstable rocky surfaces presented by the pit itself, thanks to the unexpected summer rain, the rough and dusty surrounding roads and exploration zones had transformed into a wet and muddy playground for the trail team to put the Grenadiers off-road handling to the test and have a little fun whilst at it. Alex Marcus, it's been uh, a real pleasure being out here. Thank you so much for hosting us. And uh, what a playground. Uh, yeah, but, but you know, for this it's a, it's a big learner journey for us to understand also the use cases. And you know, you, you guys need a tough vehicle. Mm. What are the key things you're looking for in your vehicles? I guess fundamentally one that's going to do the job day in, day out. That's, that's first tick, first you know, tick, done. Yeah, 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 the job yeah. doesn't happen if the vehicle's not working. Yeah. I mean, to, frankly, to think that this is, you know, say just a prototype, the fact that it's, you know, this has been this and its sort of sisters have been going around the world doing all the engineering testing and, you know, to see this thing, I think it's just going to be incredible. What we're seeing now is incredible. It's pretty exciting and it, it, it is, as you say, sort of built on purpose for exactly what we need it for. This can do pretty much anything mm. you need it to do, yeah. No, it's very yeah. exciting. Thanks for um, having us here at Borgina Station. Fantastic place. So look, you're, you're running over, I think it's a million acres, 29,000 yep. head of sheep. 29,000 at the moment, and yeah, it's about that sort of, yeah, we're just about full capacity. We've yeah, run about 30,000 max. It's it's tough country, right? It's, um, uh, well, certainly from what we've seen, you know, driving around. Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, there's a bit of everything. Um, the biggest job is sometimes just, you know, muster them and yeah. trying to get them in to, to work them. Yeah. And, all that. Yeah. and so your, your, your vehicles are critical to getting the job done, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So having a good fleet um, yeah, mean, means a lot for us. We've, yeah. So you've had a ride in the Grenadier, um, you know, just you know, coming up on the top of the hill here, which has been great. First impressions, anything that you, you know, any it feedback was, you can give us? Well, it was, it was definitely stable on the road. It definitely felt uh, quite suited to, you know, and even coming up on the hill um, before, it, it tackled that, no dramas. After a day of testing at the mine, it was time for the Grenadier team to hear what the locals thought of the new 4x4 in town and settle in for the night ahead of continuing along the trail. Mm -hmm.